Hey guys, what's up? Well, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the hard drive inside your MacBook Air. So this is a mid-2013 MacBook Air, and a few years afterwards you could still upgrade the hard drives. So, we had to order one on Amazon because 120 gigs sucks, let's face it. And this thing is running Big Sur, so we need some hard drive space. Now, because of the style of this drive, um, I don't have a case to uh, try cloning the drive onto this, so I'm going to have to uh, reload everything clean, which sucks, at, sucks. But that's the way it goes. So let's uh, get this thing out of here. Come on, really? Okay. So, because of this key style, we can't uh, just throw it into any case. And I do have some external cases, but not one that will accept this kind of a bus. So, we're going to have to uh, go old school with it, and we'll be alright. I will have to order a case eventually, because the one that's in here now, I'd like to blank it out. So, I would have blanked it first, but I want to make sure everything goes smooth with this before I do that kind of disruptive stuff. Because a couple of the drives that are available for this, depending on what company you get them from, some of them, believe it or not, say, well, you got to do this and this and this first, and then you can put it in. And it's like, no, you shouldn't have to do that. This one, they didn't say anything. So I'm kind of like taking my chances on this, but we're going to do the video long enough to see what happens here. And we can just go ahead and format it by doing the online internet install and go from there. We got some canned air. really should invest in one of those iFixit kits. Okay, so that comes out. This goes in. In. Well, that's all there is to her. Okay, so now we got that done. We've got the dust bunnies out of this thing. Now we can put the back cover back on. All right, moment of truth, cross our fingers. <coughs> Pretty sure it's option R for the Big Sur. screen. Ah, there it is. Yeah, support Mac Apple. Oh, sorry. Okay, we're going to have to zap the PRAM. Still got a sticky command key. So I go four times total. Uh, 
Okay, we're ready to try and connect. So while this is loading, guys, for a second, I gotta go grab the uh, charger for this thing because we're gonna have to plug it in for a while. And I'm back. All right, guys, it's been several hours, and it looks like uh, we're ready to uh, get things on the go here. So, let's see if we are okay with this drive. Like I said earlier, some of these drives uh, that are out there, they do tell you about, you know, having to pre-install it on another, on the external drive first, or whatever. So, we're going to go right into the disk utility. And disk zero, and we should be able to just format this sucker. Ooh, it's not seeing the drive. Oh yeah, guys! Another three hours later. Jeepers! I need faster internet. So we're gonna try again, see what happens, and see what OS we get to play with now. Uh, and hopefully it formats because I can't find an external case for this thing anywhere. Um, I'm going to have to keep looking. Because there is... Uh, ooh, Big Sur, yes, thank you. Um, I can't find an external case for the, the um, SSD drive that I got for the Air because it's got a weird, unusual plug on it. And the one case I have here is just for NVMe and um, I think it's B keys. So, anyway... Let's try again to format this sucker. This should give us a little bit better version of disk utility. Oh, the time tech is here. Nice! Okay, it's what we needed. Uninitialized. Good. Let's format it. And... Tosh HD, APFS, yep, guarded partition map, yep. And she's done and uh, ready to go. Looks like 255 gigs free. Nice. Okay, so now I've got to get onto my iPad. And i got to do the old password thing again. Be right back. Alright guys, we are now connected to my iPad. And we can actually start installing this OS finally. So, um, Mountain Lion, there was no way it was going to format the drive. Couldn't find it anywhere. And we didn't get access to view um, other drives and stuff, so... We need that access, which I'm assuming would probably, um, po quite possibly would work with El Capitan and definitely Catalina and Big Sur. Um, I don't know why Mountain Lion wouldn't be able to find the drive to be able to format it, but it wouldn't. So at least we got it. So that's, that's a relief. I still got to try and find a case though for the original so I can reformat it because right now it's still got all my original stuff on it. Um, from this computer, so and I wouldn't mind putting that as an external backup uh, drive. Small, but it would work. Okay, so time to reinstall uh, Big Sur. Install a new copy. Yepers. This is going to take forever, but as you can see, we're able to do it. Everything should go smooth from this point on. I just want to make sure that this is all set. Yes, set it up. And then I got to reload everything, Garage Band, and all the other programs I want, which is no big deal. This is definitely going to take a minute or two, but um, so yeah, so installing the drive is not that difficult. It's pretty easy. Um, you do have to have the same key uh, style drive as what I showed you guys. It is specific to this laptop. I mean, things change over the years, and you know, drives get faster, and you know, they get different 
uh, key types like the B and M key types and and whatnot. Um, so if you want to get an upgraded drive for your MacBook Air, um, first you got to make sure it'll accept one. Uh, but then you you need to to specify in like say Amazon for example or even Google, you know you want um, internal SSD drive for Macintosh MacBook Air and then you know whether it's an early late or mid version, there could be a difference, um, etc. And uh, you'll uh, be able to get access to some drives. Uh, if you're really concerned about the B key uh, or the key style, because you may have a little bit newer one and they may have changed something, um, then I would suggest at that point take out the one that's in there now to make sure that it's the exact same key style as what you're seeing on the website for yours. Um, that is extremely important because uh, you can't plug the, the style that came with this one, you can't plug that into... Uh, another style of like a, an MVME or uh, B or M style key slot, it it won't go. So I gotta find a case. When I do though, I'll actually um, let you guys know about the the case that I got at that point. In case you wanna get one, then I'll uh, be able to tell you how to get it. Anyways, so we got about two hours and twenty minutes of remaining. Apparently, of course, we all know Max Lie for this part. I've yet to see one tell the truth. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching, guys, and stay in tune for this. And um, I'm just going to keep on loading. So there you go. Success. See ya.